Milan closes in on double hundred as Middlesex bat through day three in Derby. Derbyshire started day three in a strong position. After posting an enormous 557 for six declared, the home side had reduced Middlesex to 135 for three by close, with a huge amount of the onus on Dawid Malan, who kicked off day three unbeaten on 39 alongside night watchman Steve Finn. Finn hit the opening boundary of the day from Van Beek, and another couple before falling, bowled by Van Beek for 18. Milan was joined at the crease by Holden, and with the new batsman holding down one end, Milan pressed towards his half-century. Boundaries started to flow off the Welshman's bat, and he raced past his 50 and into the 60s. Holden's first four came off Rampal. Godelman threw the ball to debutant Hudson Prentice, and he responded with an absolute jaffer first up to Holden, the same with the catch as the batsman departed for 10. Scott joined Milan and they saw play through to lunch, with the score 212 for 5. Milan still there on 75, Middlesex still trailing by 345. After the break, the Middlesex pair looked to build on the eight runs they'd managed since the departure of Holden, and both struck boundaries as they put on another partnership worth over 40. However, they were not able to make it a 50 stand, as Rample had Scott caught by Critchley for 23, making it 250 for 6. Milan and Simpson pressed on and the Middlesex four moved to his third century of the season. Milan was scoring the lion's share of the boundaries, but Simpson was scoring whenever the opportunity arose. The duo guided Middlesex past 300 to bring up a third batting point in the 98th over. By tee, they'd fought their way to 319 for six, still trailing by 238 runs. Into the evening session, and it was Middlesex who dominated as the Derbyshire attack started to tire. Simpson moved to his 50. And in the next over from Van Beek, Milan brought up his 150. He and Simpson successfully batted through to the close, with Milan ending the day on his highest score of the season so far, unbeaten on 177. Simpson too has a season's best of 91 not out and will hope to move to his 100 in the morning. So heading into the final day, Middlesex trailed by 121 runs with four wickets still in hand. The game seems to be heading to a draw.